Hey guys and welcome back to the next video. Today we want to take a deeper look at the party wizard because he is right now super strong especially on all kind of armies where you can make use of him. Uh, for example queen charge hawk riders, uh, overall kill squad armies, pekka smash, there's pretty much a lot of different ways on how to use him. We, are want, uh, we want to take a deeper look at the party wizard in the queen charge hawk rider um, composition because well it's pretty hard to time fail right now with him. I think I will somehow make it possible even though it's really hard with him. But well, in the end he's super strong. He's faster than a normal wizard, dealing more damage. At the same time he's weaker on hit points. But that doesn't really matter because you don't use him as a tank. So it's not that crucial that he's not that ha uh, having not that much HP. So that's always a nice thing. And that's basically it for the party wizard and why he's so strong right now let's take a first look at our first base i'm going to do all of the attacks like live even though i'm uh, talking over in english probably i will switch at some point that i'm doing the attacks in english like live live and then um talking over it in german so i have like a mix in that today we want to talk about or like we want to like talk over the replays so it's like kind of live not live if you know what i mean but this base uh, got used by Michael last season and a lot of people copied it actually. One of my ways on how to attack it, um, at least it sometimes work. Um, I try to make sure that I get my RAM into the base from around about 10 o'clock to make sure that I open up the um, town hall compartment because like the huge section over there because it's not really a compartment, it's more like a teaser area I would call it. And meanwhile, I try to tank with the Pekka for the ram as good as possible. And then as soon as the ram is make, like, getting through the walls, I can make sure that I drop my healers. Because as long as my queen did not take any damage, I'm pretty much sure that I get a healer switch. And that's super annoying. Like I have right now so many healer switches. Um, so I'm thinking actually about switching to uh, double dragon CC in offense. That works actually better than you might think. Um, it's a nice damage uh, pool in offense and at the same time they are tanking pretty good as long as there are no defenses in the way uh, there are no air defenses in the way which could get a bit annoying but uh, yeah well I guess that's that's how it is um, we're getting closer to the town hall and then I'm thinking already about like where should we go in with our hawk riders we will start probably from the 10 o'clock side just to make sure that we get a nice and fast pathing into the eagle and then immediately a couple of wizards behind next couple of hawk riders onto the cannon and yeah early heal spell just to make sure that the eagle is not killing all of my hawk riders with the giant bomb with the multi inferno tower so that's uh, important and then as they have the earthquake i think i dropped i did not drop it so far uh warden ability um couple of more wizards on the outside now i dropped the earthquake pretty late but hey at least i dropped it uh, the heal spell, sadly, I think the heal spell wasn't too good. I should have just waited for the big group um, for the bottom inferno tower because if I would have dropped the heal now, this would have gone differently because now we can see hawk are starting to die. We still have a couple of loons and like whatever left, but it's getting really tricky to actually get three stars in the space. So we have to like somehow save as much percentage as possible. So now it's all about like what can we pick up early so we have less time on our queen and how can we get rid of the inferno tower so i actually thought about okay let's start with the loons from the left side to target the inferno tower like directly and then as soon as the loons are run well at the halfway through we are starting with the miner because the miner is way faster than the loons actually and meanwhile our troops on the outside are tanking i dropped all of the wizards now it's just praying hoping for the best 12 seconds left wizards are doing their best healers are tanking inferno towers on the loon sadly but uh well black mine and this means this is going to be a yeah a nice 99 percent uh i guess i jinxed myself already in the beginning because well i said it's really hard to time fail with the new magic the party wizards but um well somehow we got it done a uh, nice 99 percent Let's hope we have at least one or two more triples. Um, and I guess let's jump into the next attack after trying to come back from this uh, amazing 
I just hate those 99 percenters. It's so annoying. But okay, let's let's take a look at the next space. And this space is so freaking annoying. I don't know. I really don't know what to do or what I will do next army wise. I thought about like doing Queen Charge Lalo, but I don't know. I I don't like the strategy too much. Um, I like the ground armies, but the big or the huge problem which is right now is that. Most of the attacks in Legend League are Pekka Smash, which is a ground-based army. So most of the players have their Expo set on ground. At the same time, most of the players have their um, Skeletons set to ground as well. Because even though the best attackers might not use that strategy, it might use like Queen Charge Lalo, Sui Lalo, stuff like this. You want to try to defend versus the strategy which is the most popular right now. And in the end, the most popular is Pekka Smash, which is a ground army, so having a lot of Expo set to ground isn't the most stupid idea, I guess. Even though it makes Queen Charge Hawk Rider attack etc. even more annoying. But at the same time, if you get attacked by Electro Dragons or Sui Lalo, you're getting completely wrecked as soon as the attacker is not like completely boosted. But um well, that's like right now a huge issue. I'm not sure whether I will stick with Queen Charge Hawk Riders because I just don't know. I feel like as soon as I face anti three star bases, I'm fine. But versus those anti two star bases, even this, I would call this base anti two star base because it has the town hall kind of protected. Um, the queen is offset, etc. So I don't know. I I don't know if if that's anti two or anti three. I like I said, I would call it anti uh, two star base. But with all of the expo set on ground, it's getting so freaking annoying. Um, and yeah, the, I just don't know what army I should use right now. Um, I, I still have a lot of fun using the Hawk Riders, but I just don't see Hawk Riders, or at least like anyone is getting close to the top um, top spot with a ground-based army, or not a ground-based army. Packer Smash is still super strong, and I think uh, the last season we had a couple of Packer Smash guys up there, but um, I don't know. I just feel like Queen Charge Hawk Riders for pushing... Might not the best decision, but let's see. The season is still young, so we can still uh, test a lot of stuff, test new bases, test new strategies, or like test strategies in Legend League. Um, so let's see what happens. But at this point, I thought already, okay, this is completely over because I placed my miner at the bottom, even though I should have placed him onto the CC. Because there are my wizards. My wizards are cleaning up already at the bottom, so I don't need to place the miner over there. So I was super upset at this point. And let's see how this ends because this is getting closer and closer. At least one of the Hawkers is splitting off. So this is already helping a little bit. But, um, well, there's still so much left. Uh, still standing. Storages. See, this freaking CC is standing. I have 10 seconds left. Um, maybe the Warden is fast enough. Go on. This, this is getting so ridiculous close. And the water shooting again. So this is, thank God, no second 99%. <laughs> I was super lucky on that one. Even though I was on the first one, on, like on the other one, super unlucky. So I guess it's, I don't know, it's always lucky, not lucky when you're getting those 99% or so like those last second finishes. But um, yeah, I think we should hop into the last attack and hope for a, a bit cleaner 3-star attack. And... This is like one of those super annoying bases when you have to like go with ground based uh, or like once again Queen Charge Hawk Riders because not only has most of the time one or two ground expos but at the same time Lalo, you can deploy Lalo most of the time surgical which means you can pretty much push your own loons into the town hall. Um, for Hawk Riders this isn't really working too well because you have like the best thing about Hawk Riders if they're getting strong if you had big groups because if you're getting through too surgical with the power of the defenses right now on tower 12 it's getting really hard for actually loons doing anything so um you're always like relying on pathing into the town hall and with hogwarts this isn't really possible so you nearly always have to make sure that you actually get the town hall with your queen charge which is already at this point pretty obvious that I won't get the town hall <laughs> because my healers, like I said, switched once again. Um, so I don't know. I, I'm nearly always messing up the the 
uh, pathing of my troops, maybe not really calculating correctly how much damage my queen is taking, when I should place my healers, etc. But luckily, my Pekka at the top side is still alive, so he's getting rid of the Inferno Tower and then of the Expo. And because there's a gap with the CC, which means there are no defenses, I can drop all of my Hawk Riders onto the Sweeper. And after the Sweeper, they will go to the tunnel because I have the uh, Earthquake with me. Um, checking if I, if I like have everything correct, then the um, Earthquake on the tunnel, early ward ability because no, uh, how is it called, um, Tornado Trap showed up, then the Rage, and I have still like so many spells left because I didn't really use them for my Queen Charge because it like stopped right in the beginning. And at this point, I thought once again, okay, this is going to be a horrible fail, but I still have so many Hawk Riders left, um, and the Rage and the Heal is already placed. Now I try to freeze the King and the Infernal at the same time. It's working, so it's less damage on my troops. The troops are going through using the loons to help somehow my, my Hawk Riders. The Hawk Riders are getting through everything, and the last Hawk Riders going for the Archer Tower. And for the Tesla, even though the King is still alive, um, I can somehow make it work because I can place the Miner on the Goat Storage as soon as my as soon as my troops are distracting the King. And yeah, I somehow saved this, but I don't know. I'm not sure whether I should stick with Queen Charge Hawk Riders. Like, let me know down below in the comments if you're pushing and what armies you guys are using. Um, I'm not sure whether I should go to. Queen Charge Lalo again with a Sui Lalo. I'm not sure, like maybe even Edrex. I feel like Edrex are super strong against most of the bases because so many ba or like players are trying to defend Pekka Smash. I, I really don't know what army right now is or might be the best for pushing. I think if you're a Sui, Sui Lalo god, it's still the best for pushing. But let's see. Maybe I would test Pekka Smash a little bit with the Warm Walk. Maybe I try something else. I'm not sure yet. Um, I guess you will find out in a couple of videos soon. But that's it for now when it comes to the tags. Let's check where we like ended pretty much with our trophies. We are at around about 5.4k with our main. That sucks. Our second account is way higher. Around about 100 trophies higher. Uh, number three right now in Germany. Um, but yeah, the season is still really young. So <laughs> maybe I can uh, somehow climb up climb up again to get one of the spots close to the top 10 or even in the top 10. Let's see. Um, and yeah, that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, let me know what you guys are using right now for pushing. I need a new army. I think so. I don't know. I'm I'm just not happy I'm in, anymore with the Hawk Riders. It, it feels the Earthquake is taking away too much power. Uh, but at the same time, you need the spell. So I'm just not sure on, on what to use, but let me know what you guys are using. This was it for this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.